So, let's talk about nanophotonics. Nanophotonics, a frontier in science where light meets the nano world, holds the key to revolutionary advancements in technology and science. The ability to control light at such a tiny scale is like having a microscopic traffic system for photons. It is at the nanoscale where light reveals its most intriguing behaviors and untapped potential. Here, light can be manipulated to create ultra-efficient LEDs, improving solar cell performance, or even developing new ways to transmit data in telecommunications. Before delving into the nanoscale, let's reflect on light itself. Light shapes our perception of the world. The colors and illumination we see are manifestations of the visible spectrum, which is just a tiny part of the broader electromagnetic spectrum. In the field of photonics, we study photons, the basic units of light, exploring their interactions with materials and how they can be generated, manipulated and detected. One example of this is in solar panels. Photons from sunlight hit the solar cells and their energy is absorbed by the material in the cell, usually silicon. The photon's energy knocks electrons loose, creating an electrical current, which is then harnessed as electricity. This process turns light directly into usable energy, showcasing how understanding and manipulating light at the photon level can have practical, everyday applications. Now, imagine taking these principles of photonics and applying them to an even smaller scale. This is the essence of nanophotonics engineering materials and devices at the nanometer level to precisely control photons. With advancements in nanofabrication, we're now able to design structures that interact with light in unprecedented ways. So-called photonic crystals are a vital element in nanophotonics. Think of them like a sieve or a filter, but for light instead of water. These crystals are made up of tiny, regularly repeating structures that are designed in such a way that they can control how light travels through them. An intriguing example of this concept in nature is the phenomenon of structural colors. Unlike pigments, which absorb certain colors and reflect others, structural colors are created by the way light interacts with micro and nanostructures on a surface. These beautiful, vivid blue wings belong to the blue morpho butterfly. But take a closer look and you'll see that they're actually translucent. There's no blue pigmentation involved. Instead, the wing has millions of stacked nanostructures, which reflect blue light and allow other wavelengths of light to pass through. This phenomenon is called structural color. This is where the physical geometry of a material determines its optical properties. In technology, we see a similar concept applied in the security features of banknotes. Here, the principle of structural colors is harnessed through the use of nano-sized structures, meticulously designed and embedded in holograms. These structures, often in the form of tiny dots or lines, smaller than 100 nanometers, manipulate light to create changing images or colors when viewed from different angles. This engineered application of structural colors serves as a practical example of nanophotonics, demonstrating how controlling light at such a small scale can be crucial for security and anti-counterfeiting measures. One of the most significant applications of nanophotonics is in the field of telecommunications and data processing. Nanophotonic components, such as waveguides, modulators, and detectors, can be used to manipulate and transmit data at extremely high speeds and over large bandwidths, making them crucial for the development of faster and more efficient optical communication systems. This includes applications in fiber optic communications, where nanophotonic technologies enable the transmission of large amounts of data over vast distances with minimal loss. In healthcare, nanophotonics has led to advancements in medical diagnostics, therapy, and imaging. For instance, nanophotonic technologies enable highly sensitive biosensors for detecting diseases at an early stage. In this biosensor chip for cancer diagnostic, 
cancer exosomes, which measure about 100 nanometers in diameter, are detected when they bind to a specially coated surface of nanopillars. When exosomes bind to the capture molecules on the sensor surface, this interaction changes the local refractive index around the nanopillars, thereby altering the behavior of light. This change can be detected and analyzed to indicate the presence of tumor cells. Beyond what we've explored today, nanophotonics encompasses a range of advanced topics like metamaterials, quantum dots, and optical tweezers. These areas represent the cutting edge of research and offer exciting possibilities for future innovations. Nanophotonics has given us an exciting new toolkit to manipulate light at the smallest scales. As this technology matures, we can look forward to amazing new applications that will change our world. From blazing fast quantum computers to ultra-efficient solar panels, nanophotonics promises big advances. It provides new ways to peer deep into cells for medical insights and enables next-generation sensors with unparalleled sensitivity. Metamaterials controlled by nanophotonics may even make objects appear invisible. The challenges in fabrication and integration are significant, but the future is bright for the many innovations this technology will unlock as we learn to manipulate light at the nanoscale. As always, thanks for watching. Enjoyed the video? Give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and tap the bell to never miss out.